Hello and welcome back to Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. So last time we learned that worlds are getting longer now. This world has five stages and stage six being the boss. And uh, I did a lot of work off camera really. I actually managed to get gold in like three of the challenges which I was actually pretty proud about. Because some of them were very difficult. Now let's see what shall we use. Ninja or Fighter? I think Fighter is ultimately the cooler ability, so we're going to use Fighter. And I think I did the super secret move for Fighter too. I must say it's different in this game. No. No, I'm not doing it right. I know it's some kind of button combination. I'm sure we won't need it. I really do like the bosses in this game. They're a lot... They're pretty unique and fun. Okay, I gotta be careful, because remember last time we failed the last boss? Well, we didn't fail the last boss in the last world, we almost did. Okay. Time for the ultimate charge tick attack. There we go, perfect. Now we lost a lot of health, but I'm actually not too well at using fighter, honestly. I just think fighter is just a really fun ability to use. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I do not like that. It looks like this boss is getting intense. Oh, I should have dashed there. Then I would have had enough speed to avoid that. Okay, looks like that might be a good idea. Except for when you do that craziness. Okay, fighter isn't working out for us. Let's try getting a random copy ability. Whip. Okay. That did not help at all. Okay. Oh, are you serious? Okay, I think I might be safe if I go hang out right here. Ouch, I did not think that would hurt me. Okay, we need to defeat this boss as soon as possible. Now, on the whip challenge, I actually learned how to do the tornado more effectively. Okay, what do we do to avoid that? And we fail the first boss. I did not think we'd actually fail a boss, but I told you, sometimes these Kirby bosses can be very difficult. Okay, so we need an ability that actually does like a upward kind of thing, so I think we might use sand. Because we could do this, which will help us have the one in the air, because this is a, they jump around a lot in the air. Sorry that I'm stumbling, it's been a while since I've recorded because Actually, I get my wisdom teeth out, and it's been a whole week since I was able to record. Because I wasn't actually really able to talk. Oh, you could build a sand castle? I did not even know that was a thing. See, this is why you need to read the description for abilities. See, I can just kick sand up. And there we go. And you're going to hide up there, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to sand you. I also learned this. I'm not sure if this makes you invincible. Oh wait, it does make you invincible. Sand is definitely the ideal ability. But I'm trying, I'm gonna try not to use that too much. But I learned that when I was actually doing the sand challenges. There's a section that I couldn't do. It was all because I didn't know you could hide in sand and become invincible for a short bit. Okay, now there's really mad. Okay, this is perfect because now when he charges that up, I can just hide in the sand. Okay, I actually need to get close to sand. I think that's the is only issue with this ability when it comes to bosses. Oh, you get invincibility frames after using that attack? That's pretty cool. Ouch. Okay, maybe I should have dodged that. You know, when it comes to dodging in Kirby, I'm actually not too good at it. I completely forget that Kirby can dodge, honestly. Okay. Boom! See, that boss was way easier with sand. Now let's do the ultimate dance. Oh wait, I forgot. Kirby doesn't dance out the bosses in this game. Oh, yeah, they do. 
I wish you would split into three, but this isn't triple the luck. This is a really fun Kirby game. I was honestly surprised, considering it was a 2D Kirby game. And not because I don't like 2D Kirby games. It's because, you know, Star Allies was a little bit bland, but this game is actually fun. I really like the way they were going for this game, with the design and everything. And it was like, it's a hush because we got another piece of the ship. Nice. So, what do you got for us, Magdalene? Kirby, you've done it. My star cutter finally has its emblem back. Oh, joy, it's glorious day. There's one missing part left to find. And remember, once lore is up and running, I'll take you to visit my home. Crashing here on your planet and meeting you. Somehow this by what an ordeal this has turned into. It's been worth it. Thank you yet again for all your help and for being such a cool dude. Awesome, did we unlock something in Mary Magdal then? Let's go. Welcome back to Mary Magdaland. Oh right, we probably just unlocked the boss. We got nine tickets, so we earned a crackler. I don't see how could you use that against a boss? Goriath has come to play in Mary Magdaland. And we earned the Goriath mask. Perfect. Let's check on our missions and see. Yeah, all these missions have to do with Mary Magdaland, which we will do after we beat the game, of course. Otherwise, we'd just, this would just be a playthrough of Kirby's Return to Dreamland with some extra spice, aka the masks. So this is actually a playthrough of Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Despite me not playing the original game, I think it's still turning out pretty well. With the addition of the masks, don't really change the gameplay that much. They're just more of aesthetic things. The final world. We unlocked it. The Nutty Noon. Ooh. Ooh, is it Cloud Theme World? Anyways, let's find our vendor dudes because I want to change our mask. Oops, wrong button. Yes. We will change into Goriath. Onwards to stage one. Now these stages have gotten a lot harder from what I remember. Okay, I'm not going to be tricked that this is a grassy area. Oh, there's a parasol hidden over here. Maybe we'll need parasol in order to get some energy spares. Oh, look at that rainbow in the background. That was really cool. Okay, it looks like we're heading into the clouds. I should have known. Oh, this is the beanstalk kind of level. Cool. I don't think I've seen many cloud levels in Kirby. So this should be nice and unique. Ouch. I forget this is the final world, so it's going to start getting difficult. That's for sure. Oh, I actually wanted sword. Actually, we could use parasol. It's actually going to be quite useful because we can float down very slowly in case we fall. Of course, we do have floating. I wonder if this will give us... Cutter, I knew it. Okay, I'm not too sure why Cutter would be useful here. Now, I need to keep my eye out for any energy spheres, but I'm not seeing any good spots they could have hidden some. Unless you're gonna hide some in the air, it's a possibility. Oh, do not do that. Okay, we're giving this whip for a reason. Red door. Okay, at least we now we know. Oops, I meant to do the like dash whip that does the whip like all swirly and stuff. That would allow us to catch that extra life. See, there is stuff in the clouds. We may have missed some energy spheres. Because there is stuff in the clouds. I just didn't think the clouds would be solid platforms. Unless. Who knows? Okay. I'm not sure if Wing is even in this game. I think it is. Wait, why did I do that? I thought I was a lot better at this game, considering I beat those challenges and got gold. 
but I guess not. Yeah, wing is in this game. Okay, now we know. Wing is actually going to be very useful if we encounter a boss that requires wing. Now I'm a little bit concerned that we haven't found any energy spheres. And we've already been through two areas with no energy spheres. It is, of course, possible that... Aha. Uh -huh. This is a perfect spot to hide an energy sphere. Because you could just be floating with your parasol. All slowly, and then all of a sudden... Ouch. It was so worth it. Because we can go through the red door. Okay, I know you don't give a copy ability, but that's the energy sphere, so let's see. That's the first one. Also, I have no clue why I did just dash into the spiders. I guess I wanted to see if there was a copy ability or something. Okay, hang out in the middle right there. Ooh, it looks like there's some secret up here. It wasn't energy sphere, but it was some cake. Nice. So let's see, cutter or spear. We haven't really used spear that much in this playthrough, so let's use spear. Spear has the epic helicopter spear, which will help us fly across this treacherous path. It looks like we're actually going to need it, because if we accidentally hit the platform, then we'll fall off. And by using spear, we don't have to worry about the snowball. Okay, that was not a secret. Okay, we don't actually need sword here. Okay. What if there's an energy sphere on the cloud, though? That could be possible. So I'm gonna try and not do that. Look, there's one right there, but that's gonna fall. So we actually need that candy. So let's just quickly jump right there. I will spare the waddle dee. There's gotta be something up here. Aha! Uh -huh. See, some of these secrets can be easy to find, others not so much. Okay. I've actually liked how well they've hidden energy spheres in this game. They're not too difficult to find, but they're also not in, in the most obvious spots in the world. Like, especially in the last world that we were in. Whoa! Okay, I need to be careful. Okay, it might be a good idea to... Uh oh, I missed that ticket. I'm not actually concerned about getting the tickets right now. Now, there's this whole area out. There's this whole area up here. Oh, wait, we've already been up there. Silly me. Looking for secrets where there weren't any secrets because we already found the secrets. Can't believe my face. Okay, so it looks like, um, Flower Doom. This world is so pretty. Tornado! Yes! This is my favorite copy ability in this game. It I have decided. Oh, oops, I did not mean to do that. There we go. It's actually not too hard to control once you get the hang of it. Okay, I see a secret over here. Okay, it wasn't anything actually major. Okay. Oh, this could be a secret. Or we're gonna need Tornado to fly up there. Aha! Energy Sphere. And that's Energy Sphere number three. So we're on track to finding all the secrets. You know, I just decided we're just gonna 100% this game. I'm not gonna do all of it on camera. But I wanna 100% this game because I usually 100% every single Kirby game that I play. So, it's kind of a thing that I gotta do. Is there anything sneaky secrets down here? That would have been the perfect spot to hide a sneaky secret. If you ask me. Oh! Go up, go up, go up. Ooh, that was close. We almost got crushed. Okay, so this is a really good tornado area. Except for now it's not, because now we have to worry about this other ball. What if the secret is to go there before it... Oh no! Why would I do that? We missed the energy sphere. 
great. And that's the end of the stage. Okay, I'll have, just have to go back into the stage off camera and grab that energy sphere. I'm not too concerned about it because we know where it is and I can just grab it. But that's going to make me a little sad that we're not going to get gold stars on this stage. Gold game time. And we got third place. Well, close enough. Is that a star in the background that's orbiting this ringed planet? Or is that ringed planet that's orbiting the star? That's an interesting detail. That's all I'm asking about. Ooh, we unlocked a whole bunch of new copy ability rooms. Okay, so let's do stage two. Whew. Ooh. Look at this. Alright, Kirby, you know what to do. It's ninja time. Ooh, this stage is so pretty. I love the background. This has got to be my favorite world for aesthetics alone right now. Okay, go away. Don't like you. Okay, I could just destroy this. If only Beetle was in this game. That's one of my favorite copy abilities. Come back here, Ninja. I need you. Ouch. Whoa, that was cool. I forget that Ninja could do that. Um, do you mind? Okay, I do not understand why I'm so terrible at using Ninja. Okay, you get out of here. All of that for a little cake. Oh, don't worry about that. I will plug that in once um, the video ends. Okay, so yeah. Ooh, sand. I love sand. Now, I've actually haven't been to a beach before with real sand. I always wonder what it felt like, but I heard it was it's very annoying. Because it gets in your pants and stuff. But I feel like sand would be really soft. But I guess since sand is just basically rocks that have been hit by water a whole bunch. And I guess that would make sense why it would hurt. But it always looks so soft in video games and stuff like that. Okay, it looks like this is going to be one of those bomb challenges. Okay, will we actually make it? I'm actually a little concerned here. Oh, I think he just barely made it. Yes! Ouch, I gotta stop taking care of damage. It's gonna be the end of us. I already know it. We've already died once in the stage. Um, I don't understand why that area took forever to load. Oh, is this a secret bomb challenge? Oh, I see. We gotta aim the bomb. Now, I actually got pretty good at aiming bombs since it's a bomb challenge. Okay. I say that and I literally miss like five times. Okay, at least you get unlimited attempts. Okay, it looks like if I aimed it... A little higher right there. I was about to say... I didn't think I was going to make it, but a little higher actually did work. So, perfect. And that's the first energy sphere, so we're way on track. That ticket was literally just floating there. Not very secret, if you ask me. I've got to be more careful. My health is absolutely gone. Now, may I go through the three-star door? I wonder what will be next in this stage. I actually like how you can see on the planet in the background. I've noticed in these past few levels. Because we're way high up in the sky. I think that's enough bomb for right now. Okay. I don't see the point right there. But why could I not... This is a... I think that just spawned a different enemy after I defeated it. Are you trying to tell me I need ninja? Ouch, how did that ninja star even hit me? I need to do the flower power thing in order to get that me. What are you doing back? Get your happy face out of here. Okay, is it the middle switch? Okay, it's the right switch. I need that burger. 
feeling mighty hungry right now. So what is this actually? Just pick the correct switch. Okay. Ouch. I do not like it when those enemies do that. Okay, we are really struggling to find these energy spirits. I feel like we should have found them by now. Because it's been quite a while since we've seen one. And here I said they weren't hitting that well. Mondo? Are you just a giant rock, friend? Out. Shouldn't have been holding a bomb. Nope. Oh. Uh oh, we will die if we get hit, hit one more time. Not good. I don't like being a one-hit wonder. Go! Now give me your ability, because stone is a very, very fun ability. Okay, let's grab this food. We're gonna need it. Hey, there's an energy spear. Okay, just let the enemies go through you. Oh, what? Well, I guess that makes sense. I got tricked. I just didn't expect the Kirby game to try to trick me like that, but that was a really obvious trap. So now I know, so I can get that energy spear off camera. I think I might edit out these, uh, these loading screens, because they, they take quite a while now. Oh, we're gonna get a ultra super ability now. That means we missed the second energy sphere, and then we're gonna get the last two in the rift. Oh, flare beam is so cool. So we gotta hit these like light switches. That's awesome, and then it opens the door. Nice. At least we know we won't have to worry about getting good game over in Kirby. That's nice, at least. Okay, destroy, absolutely annihilate. And we got the ticket, awesome. Okay, now you need to get out of my way because I uh, Kirby is coming through and Kirby does not appreciate enemies trying to annihilate them. So you must all get layer beamed. So where is the rift at? Now I know that they've been hiding the rift nowadays. I sure hope this bottom path is the solution. Nice smiley face. Does the smiley face hold the key to the rift? Yep, it does. Now let me in. And we lost our super ability, but it's okay. Okay, go Kirby, go! Okay, so it looks like it's one of these challenges. Oh! So you want to block my path? I'm actually concerned that the rifts are going to get too difficult. Okay. Okay, just... Nope, don't do that. Go! Okay, I was actually concerned they were going to drop me straight into the void. Okay, this one's different. Oh, that, that's actually going to be pretty difficult. Okay, never mind. Giant Star could just go through spikes because it's invincible from it. Okay, would you please not do that game? A little concerned. Okay, we're getting way too close for comfort right here. So I'm going to try to speed up because the very dangerous pink wall of doom is going to get us. Oh, that was a really short rift. The boss must be really difficult. Oh, is it going to be on a moving platform? So we're going to use stone, I think. This boss might be very difficult, so we're going to use stone. Oh, it is on a moving platform. This is new. Stone's going to be perfect for moving platforms. Okay. I just gotta time our attacks perfectly. Okay. Looks like this 
like all the other Spear Doomers, isn't actually that powerful. Okay, perfect. We timed that perfectly. Now, if you would do that attack again, please. Oh, I missed! Alright. It's okay. We're just about done with this boss. There we go. One left. Punch to the face, and they are defeated. That is two energy. That is one energy spear we missed. I can't believe we missed such an easy one too. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I will see you in the next one. I'm just kidding. I thought the stage was over, but there's this whole cannon section, I guess. Or just can lead to the end of the stage. Okay, now that's gonna be it for this video. Enjoy the gold game.